Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Dr. You YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the ulcer. More specifically, we will talk about the peptic ulcer. Well, before I proceed, I would love to mention that this lecture is available in Urdu. So now we'll record the lecture in English. Well, coming to the point ulcer, then we'll move towards the peptic ulcer. Generally, what ulcer is? Medically, ulcer is defined as that when any protective layer protective layer uh, the layer that is doing the protection of the skin or anything means throughout the body so when any protective layer is eroded or removed that will then go for or will turn to the feeling of uh, sensations like sore feelings means painful sensations will be observed that is actually called ulcer so when uh, we're talking about the peptic ulcer so what is peptic ulcer whenever you hear the term peptic you must click towards the GIT. So ulcer in the GIT is called peptic ulcer. What happens in this ulcer? The GIT lining, so that is being protected by the mucus layer. We'll discuss now uh, in both the terms right now. So this protective layer is removed or eroded. So after the erosions, what will happen? A is a person takes the food or eats something. So the person will then come for, uh, then we feel the sensations of the pain. Now then these pain sensations are of two types due to which the peptic ulcer is also of two types. Well, coming to the point that peptic ulcer is of two types, gastric and duodenal. And you might have uh, got the term gastric, that gastric stands for the gastric means stomach and duodenal stands for the first part of the small intestine. Noun is duodenum or you can say duodenum. Both the pronunciations are correct. Well, you have to get the term gastric, stomach, duodenal, small intestine. So when the ulcer is in the gas stomach, that is called as gastric ulcer. And when the ulcer is in the small intestine, that is known as duodenal ulcer. So you got the term ulcer. Means the protective layer present here, mucus layer, mucus membrane. That is, about, that is eroded or removed. Then what will happen? Sore feelings will be observed, means painful sensations will be observed as a person takes food or something. So then those feelings are of two types or uh, because of those uh, painful sensations, then the patients are coming of two categories. One patient is coming with a gastric ulcer, another one is coming with a duodenal ulcer. Well, uh, this gastric ulcer is very less common and duodenal is more common and uh, the gastric ulcer can be, uh, can turn to malignancy. So more often, the gastric ulcer turned to malignancy, it also cancer, you can say. Well, uh, duodenal ulcer is uh, actually less observed, means the malignancy chances are very less. Now, coming to the point, how will we understand what are the signs and symptoms of those uh, patients that whether the patient is having the gastric or duodenal, how will we identify that whether the patient is who, who is coming towards us? So whether this patient that is presenting a disease of ulcer, so whether the person is gastric or peptic well we'll ask him or he will tell or she will tell or the patient will tell that uh, is the patient takes the food so patient starts feeling pain and there is another patient that says that I am okay when I take food but just after two or three hours there is a kind of a painful sensation observed in my GIT so now these two patients are then divided according to the medical terms is peptic and duodenal uh, sorry the gastric and duodenal the person who takes the food immediately after taking the food the patient says that just the patient takes the food observes the pain that patient is having the problem of gastric ulcer and the patient that says that as I take the food I'm okay but after two or three hours the painful sensation that person the patient feels then then the patient is given the name is duodenal patient or that patient is having the problem of duodenal ulcer. Immediately after the meal or after the food which is taken is gastric, after some time then that person is or that person is or that ulcer is the duodenal. Got the terms? People may have the gastric ulcer or the duodenal ulcer. Those who are obese, they will have or they will come or they are seen, those patients are seen with the duodenal ulcer. And those who are less obese, they are often seen with a gastric ulcer. 
this is just a, a kind of observation that so that's a little bit from my side about the ulcer hope so you got thank you for watching and if you have any kind of question regarding the ulcer you can comment down in the comment box we'll come for the answers inshallah thank you